Hey there, this is Lillian from Tiger Lily Virtual Assistants, and we're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to do an infographic in Canva using their infographic template. So I'm already on Canva.com, and as you can see, they do have the infographic template. If it's not here on the top banner, you can go ahead and click on More, and it will be there. So click on Infographic, and it'll take you to your blank canvas and you'll get to see all of the cool layouts they have. Now they do have some free layouts and they have some that you need to purchase and they're clearly labeled there. And what you can do, what's great about using an uh, infographic layout is that they already have a lot of icons readily available on the template. So if you see something that's very similar to what you want to use, you would go for that one. And what I want to do is just show you very quickly. If I want to do a, an infographic with some um, charts and hearts and circles, all that good stuff, this one has one. And the first thing I'd want to do is, number one, collect your data. Make sure you have all the information you need before you start. Uh, the, then the next step would be to create your headline. And you can click on the text that they have on their headline and you can change the font to whichever font that would be workable for your brand. And then also for sizes, you can change it here and your color. So that's how you change your headline. You can change all of these features that are on the template. If you want to keep these circles, you can keep that. You can change up the color and make it your own. If you want to get rid of this little guy, you can. You can delete it. And if you want to add another icon, this is where you'll find it. You go under search, go under the icons tab, and here you'll have a whole list of icons to choose from. So if I want to go ahead and, and choose one of these icons, I can click on the button and resize it by going to the white element and moving it down. And I can change it up, make this infographic my own, of course, putting in my own data. And doing what we would like to do is basically making blocks of information to make it clear. Just like this is one block of information, this is one block of information, this is one block of information. This is very clear and easy to read. And then at the bottom of your infographic, you'll see here, I'll have to increase the size so you can see it. You'll see that they have some text on the bottom that says information provided. So of course, at the end of your infographic, you always want to cite your sources and put in the website of where you found your data that you've included on your infographic. Also, when you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you include your website, how people can find you, and your logo. Uh, some people will put it on the top, some people will put it on the bottom. But always include all of your information in clear blocks of information, and then include your site sources on the bottom of the infographic. I hope that helps. And then also, when you're done, you click on download, and you can go ahead and download it as an, a ping or a JPEG. And you're all set on your computer.